Hello everyone, welcome to my track builder tutorial. Um, in this series, we're going to look at the basics of track building uh, and cover concepts that I wish I'd learned sooner and to help you get a kickstart on building sweet tracks. Um, during this tutorial series, I'm going to assume you know most of the basics. Uh, if you don't know most of the basics, I believe there's already other videos out there that will cover it. Um, but also anything specific or special I do, I will mention just as a side note. Uh, so today we're going to be covering corners. Um, it's the simplest and most important thing in pretty much every track you'll build. Uh, so we're going to cover the basics of the different types of corners, what to do, what to avoid, uh, what makes a good track and what doesn't. Um, so first things first, we've got to place our start line. Um, we're just going to throw it on the pool table here. And we're going to go ahead and build in the basement. Uh, it's a great starting place because it's a decent size. It's got nice obstacles to go around while not being cluttered or hard to navigate. Uh, so this is my basement, as you can see. You can also customize your own. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and start in the pool table. So. Um, the first basic type of corner is just the first corner everyone learns and uses, which is just this. Just a very basic standard corner. Um, there's some serious drawbacks to a corner like this. Um, most of those being they're much harder to control uh, due to the fact that you are not using gravity or any lean in the corner to slow yourself down. Um, so I don't recommend these corners, however, as a beginner, um, pretty much everybody uses them. Um, so the second type of corner I'm going to talk about is the one I'd recommend in lieu of using these. So it's basically, I call them grab corners. So basically what you do is you use a vertical bend on your first section, and then you take the track and you do your curve or corner. You place it and then you go ahead and pop down and bring it back to level. So what this does is it actually creates gravity in the corner to slow you down on your entry, which allows you to hit them at a faster speed, um, also making them a lot more fun and swingy to do. So we can, we in, and you can do these pretty aggressively and most people will still be able to take them. Um, that's a tight spot. Back this up a step. So these corners are great in most situations. Uh, they're also quite easy to build. Um, you see them a lot in Mogoroth's tracks uh, because they're quite versatile and easy to build. So um, the third type of corner, which is my personal favorite and the one the devs use in a lot of their tracks. Um, is your just your basic lean corner. So you can actually just put a bit of a like right bending slope on your first part on the entry. And then you can actually just pull this out, keep your lean extreme. And then as on our exit, we always want to raise the exit and try to level it out a little bit. We don't want to connect quite yet. And what this bend does is it allows people to keep quite a bit of speed through corners um, where they wouldn't necessarily be able to keep that speed. And you can do this quite extreme and the corner is still quite easy to take. Um, most of the dev corners use a little bit of lean in them, like so. Um, so that's actually really easy to do and it allows people to keep control during the corner. So as you can see, the approach actually looks like that. Uh, fairly easy to maintain control in as you're coming in. They're not so unruly as your flat corners. Um, so let's just talk about a variation of a couple of these. So your first variation is of the second one we talked about, the grab corner. So if you have an extreme height on it, it's not quite that high, what you can do is you can actually make it a mag track, the very top. Um, just to quickly talk about mag tracks, mag tracks actually 
don't take gravity into effect at all. They treat every surface as flat, regardless of the direction you're in. The only time it matters what direction you're in on a make track is if you lose contact with the make track. Um, but for the most part, make tracks just treat everything as a flat surface. Um, so that's a make track corner. The other one is the extreme undercut of the lean corner. So what we will do here is we'll do one. So basically, if you put a lean and you keep that lean going more and more extreme, you can create a undercut that's rather exaggerated. We're going to need to be a bit higher than that. So, and what these do, well, they're just fun for starters because the gravity pulls you into the corner and the lean keeps you in the inside of it. Um, they allow you to keep a ton of speed. And you can do these quite extreme while people still being able to hold on to them. I've done it on a couple of tracks where I didn't think, I thought they were too much, but it turns out they weren't. Um, if you do make one that's too much and you really want to keep it, um, you can easily put just a make strip on the inside or somewhere along the inside here like so. And what that does is it just allows people a grab point if they're starting to lose control in the corner. Um, starting to lose contact with the corner. So that makes it fun and yet still challenging to, to drive. Um, so those are the basic corners that I'm going to cover today. I'm sure there's a gajillion more variants. I do have a quick tutorial on an undercut. Um, and if you haven't seen that, I'll just quickly show what that is so you understand what I mean. An undercut is literally just when you take your track here and you turn it and you turn it to extreme and these are done with mag tracks um and what they do is they are just a really fun way of changing the orientation of the track um and they're also just fun in general to drive so i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten this out um so you can pretty much do a corkscrew fairly easily. If you haven't seen the tutorial on how to make corkscrews, go take a look in the Hot Wheels Unleashed, Dis Unleashed Discord. Uh, there's a great tutorial on there on how to achieve these fairly easily. Of course, I'm struggling with it, but uh, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna do that for now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some checkpoints on this bad boy, and I'll upload him so you can have a drive yourself to get a feel for it. Uh, if you want to, I don't need that to be a mag truck. If you want to have a feel for the different types of corners and how they feel in your car, um, we'll just quickly drive through them here, um, and then I'll go ahead and upload it. You guys can have a look. Uh, just a quick note on testing your tracks. Make sure you pick a neutral car. Don't pick your very best car because not everybody drives the best cars. And it's hard to get a feel for how a track feels unless the car is somewhat average. If you're driving a Jesco to test every track, you're going to make your car too way too tight on that track. So those, you see how I lost control in those corners fairly easily? That's because those are flat where these corners and I'm actually able to maintain quite a bit of speed because of the verticality holding me as I crash it. Now these are the lean corners. They're really easy to maintain control. Even in an extreme hairpin like that. They're my personal favorite type. Here's the main corner. So as we're coming up, we lose speed, and then the mag grabs you, keeps you in the corner so you don't fall off. And this is the extreme variation of that one. You can actually see that is fairly easy to maintain control. Here's the undercut. That's not really well. All right, folks. Well, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and throw some checkpoints and finish this up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the Community Unleashed Discord or comment on this video, and I'll answer everything the best I can. Thanks.